This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. In my last video, I filmed an entire hangout session with Tony Hawk, but I had to cut it out, which is bullshit because he's a living legend. So, this is me and Tony Hawk hanging out in his private office. Enjoy. I have to Oh, George Peterson. George oh, Peterson. yeah. Uh -huh. He lives in our hometown. I used to burn his boards for him. I couldn't remember where I got that, and for some reason, I associated with South Africa. Oh. <laughs> and so I said that on an interview somewhere. Um, this one's from South Africa. And people are like, that's Circle Factor. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so I'm that, not making that that's mistake a... again. <laughs> that one is literally from Aboriginal artist. Where did you get the gold one? Literally, when I was doing a demo in San Diego, I had just skated a vert demo. Okay. Got my pads. My skateboard's sweaty, and the guy's like, yo, man, I wanna give you this. And he like hands me this. It looks like it weighs like 30 it's pounds. A weapon. <laughs> so you dangerous. Could, you could kill zombies with I that, mean, for I sure. I love it, it's super cool, but then I'm, I'm like, my car is like three blocks away, and so You're like, what I am I gonna all my other shit, and then I'm carrying that, and I got <laughs> cut on my arms. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's dude. Crazy, like, it's made out of spray cans. Uh, oh no, way. Yeah. Sharp. That's like <laughs> razor sharp, yeah. dude. So I felt like I accomplished something just getting it home. Jeez, dude. <laughs> it's Whoa. brand new. Oh, Off the press. He has all this cool stuff. I bring him like the smallest little fingerboard. I'm like, this is a gift for you, Tony. <laughs> I come in here, it's like, a, it's like a wonderland. Well, much more thought and love went into that fingerboard than, than the mass production of these cases. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's gonna be true. Seeing it. All right, how in the Lemony Snicket's Jiminy Cricket's fuck am I just casually hanging out with the undisputed goat of skateboarding? Well, before I tell you how, here's some context. Exactly several months ago, I posted this video, which was the story of me traveling to Tony Hawk's private facility to film one insane skate clip of Tony that I needed in order to complete a much bigger, much more epic project that I'm working on. I'll tell you how I pulled all this off later, but at least now you know what I was doing hanging out with Tony. Eddie said that he was watching Reese, and he said she's been crushing it. She's finishing a video right now. In fact, this is what we were doing yesterday. This is why I'm sore today. Whoa, dude. For me to go that high frontside was, that was my whole day yesterday. Wow. <laughs> now, I'm about to ask Tony about his worst injuries, but before I do that, I need to tell you why I haven't posted in five months. The reason is I've spent all that time working on finishing one of my biggest projects. It's a f***ing suitcase that turns into a full skate park. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that video. It's dropping in a week or two, I hope. By the way, for this next part, you should know this conversation me and Tony are having was filmed shortly after Tony snapped his femur, which he still isn't fully recovered from. Is that your worst injury that you've had? That or breaking my pelvis, but my pelvis healed a lot faster than this did, so. I mean, I'm seven months on, and in no way am I like back to a level of skating that I'm happy with. You're literally a mutant. I refuse to believe you're a human being, that you can just like... I mean, all of my focus has been on this. I never imagined that I would be like this far healed, able to walk, and then not be able to do tricks I took for granted. You're probably just sitting there bummed. It's been hard. It's been really hard. I, I imagined that I would be back to like 80% of my skating at this point. By now? I just thought, yeah, I was able to walk just a few weeks later and... I was able to stand on my skateboard not long after that. So to me, like- You're just like your brand. Was this, yeah. And then I actually <laughs> had a setback. So I think that's what stalled it. Did you do what every skater does, including me and like, oh, I'm good. And then you just set yourself back again. I came here, I was able to stand on my board and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna drop in on the small board. Oh pipe. gosh, Tony, and So when I on. went, no, here's what happened was, <laughs> was when I went 
up to the quarter pipe to pop out onto yeah. the deck, I stepped with this foot forward just out of habit, oh. and I actually shifted the the bone, so like it was perfectly aligned, and then I made it go like this. Oh it set me back quite a gosh, bit. Gosh, dude! Reset. And even oh. now, even now, there's still a little gap between the bone because I did that. So that was oh. my fault. Jeez, yeah, that's the thing. I didn't even get to drop in. Literally, you went up there to drop went up in. To drop in, I was like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> This next part was right before me and Tony went to go skate, and I was kind of nervous about the possibility of him pushing himself too hard and making his injury worse. So I was probably being annoying about it. So yeah, sorry about that, Tony. I'm gonna do a kickflip right now just for you. Yo, do a kickflip! You are chilling though, like you're, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be responsible for injuring Tony Hawk. No, no, no. For this. Okay, so you're, okay. No, yeah, it's okay. Everyone on earth would hate me. They'd be like, if it wasn't for Spencer Barton, do you think Tony that, would be. <laughs> yeah, do you really think that, that you would be the one that incited me to do something that is beyond my ability? And I, I'm not trying to discount you, I'm talking about anyone. Do you think anyone's gonna walk in here and be like, oh, you gotta go do that? And I'd be like, oh, no, 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 but, I don't. no, no. I don't think that, but what I do think is you're the type of guy that's like, oh, like I got it, like you know the drop in thing. You're oh, probably like, oh, yeah. I got this shit for sure, and yeah. then and, and maybe you just bit off more. Uh, than <laughs> I did a Madonna over a month ago, so I feel good about that. Oh, easy breakfast. He's got it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. If so, you're asking for like a heel for front center, that's when. Hey, can you run a can you run a 900 down. really quick? <laughs> <laughs> On the ground, I can do two and a half, three six. <laughs> Re all reverts. All right, let's give Tony some hawk wings, add a lens flare, maybe a color grade. Maybe I'll make my biceps look bigger. I gotta finish this video before the deadline tonight. Wait, did I send that email? <gasps> Spencer, you need to post the social media promo right now. The company's waiting. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. This isn't the first time you've been- Shit, my taxes are due today. <gasps> did I pay my car insurance? Oh God, the casserole. Pants. The dinner's in two hours. Shit. Oh. This is the last warning, okay? Get this up today. We need to keep moving. Get the ball rolling. It's back in your court. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ow. How did that even happen? A cat poop? All right. Ignore the feces. Focus on the casserole. It's about to be killer. Nothing beats a good cat. Now look, being mentally overwhelmed may not always result in a face full of cat poop or your house to explode, but it usually will cause chaos and disorder in your everyday life, which, if left unchecked, can build up and lead to disaster in many different ways. So I found a secret weapon to help me process and talk through that huge, stressful, overwhelming pile of thoughts and tasks that I have to deal with on a daily basis. And that secret weapon is BetterHelp. The sponsor of this video. Listen, the idea of any therapy at all never really interested me because personally, I don't struggle with depression or anxiety. I'm lucky, I know. But I do deal with a good bit of stress from being overworked and overwhelmed with my career. So when I realized that there was therapy for that, I discovered better help, and I was in. Honestly, BetterHelp made starting therapy a lot easier and less intimidating for me because it lets you have therapy sessions as like a phone call or a video chat, even messaging. And it's crazy because BetterHelp can match you with one out of over 30,000 therapists in their network. 30,000? That is so many therapists. Based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a much wider range of expertise than you might have available in your city. Oh, also, you can schedule therapy sessions at literally any time, which is awesome for someone as busy as me. All you have to do is go to BetterHelp's website and fill out a little online questionnaire that asks you what you're going through. And in most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist in 48 hours. That's pretty much zero hours. So now that you know how much of a game changer this is, you're probably Probably thinking, oh my gosh, how can I get a special discount on my first month so I can try BetterHelp and see if it helps me? 
Well, I'm glad you asked, and I'm here to make your dreams come true. Because all you have to do is visit BetterHelp.com slash Spencer Barton or select Spencer Barton during the sign-up process. Either way, you'll get a special discount on your first month, and it also supports my channel. The link is in the description. So everyone, instantly turn this video off and go do that and start living a happier, healthier life. Thanks again to Better... Oh, my God. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. The street skaters ever come here just to hit the park? Yeah, as soon as it's raining, I know Riley's gonna call me. Key to the warehouse. If you live under a rock, Riley is Tony's oldest son. He's a pro skater too, and he's an absolute beast. Riley lately has been like one of my favorite skaters. Oh yeah, I love how he's kind of coming to his own. It's funny how you and Riley skate like polar opposite kind of. <laughs> but you know who skates similar to Tony? His other son, Keegan. Also, don't you have a son named Spencer? Yeah. He's probably the coolest one, huh? He's, <laughs> he, is the, he is the most artistic one. He makes what is known as hyperpop music. Stage name is Guppy, and then he has a band with a buddy of his called Food House. Food House. They have a hit. What? <laughs> what? Dude. Dude. This is your son? Dude, I fuck with this vibe. Uh, he's, um, this is one of those things that like w I could see blowing up. Oh, 100%. It did, I mean, it did. It's like, it's just like the oddity. Yeah, wow. They got a ton of streams. Like and while we're talking about Tony's kids, his other sons, Miles and Calvin, can shred too. And speaking of Miles, he owns a super sick clothing, skate, fashion store. Oh, and Tony's daughter, Katie, is apparently killing it in theater and she's gonna be the next big star. So yeah, Tony's just cranking out little hustlers. Hey, remember how I said I was gonna tell you how I was able to pull off getting Tony Hawk into my videos? Well, I'm not. Because instead of telling you right here, I created a little mini podcast called Storytime with Spencer, and I just posted episode one on my second channel, and I tell the whole story in that episode. I also put even more unseen skate clips in that episode, along with a little hangout session I had with Steve Caballero. So if you're interested, please check that out. The link is in the description. And here's the thing, I'm only gonna make more episodes of that if people seem interested and it does pretty well. So please check it out and let me know what you think. Sir, oh my God, the camera almost fell.
Like I said in my last video, I'm extremely grateful to Tony Hawk and his team for being a part of my project. So huge thanks to them. Oh, and speaking of Tony's team, I actually have a history with them. Check this out. Oh. In 2016, Jared and Galena, who work for Tony Hawk, both believed in my video part enough to post it on Ride Channel after it got rejected by basically everyone else. And then, years later in 2020, when the Sonic the Hedgehog movie came out, Tony had to post an Instagram video to promote a new video game. So Jared hit me back up and hired me to edit that Instagram video for Tony, which of course I did. Major shout out to them. That was a big thunder clash. Please buy something from Benji.co so I can keep making these videos. They're expensive. Thanks. No one knew me by name, just my own house party cousin. You skated with loose straws? I know, and a shitty street board. Switch rail heel? 